M0FXB. So we have been having fun trying to set up this Omni Rig. Omni Rig is a program that where you can use one rig and link several, um, more than one program to the port basically and control it. So now I've got it running here and I'll just show you for example what it looks like when it's actually running. Um, so these are the main windows. One, the one on the left is called the Og Omni Rig Client and I'll show you how to get that. And on the right is the settings that are opened by clicking the open dialog box here. And so we've used, now if you look at the radio now, look at the, the frequencies here where it says frequency A and frequency B. Watch them change with the radio. I've got it, hopefully you can see that. So you can basically see that the radio is now linked to OmniRig, you see? And this opens up possibilities for us to link it to, to more than one piece of software. Now I've only just done this, so I'm gonna show you how I did it, even though it's up and running. So go, we'll put the link in the description here. The first thing you need to know is that there are three things that you need to download. Let's go down to the right place. Download, so I've lost it now. Here it is there, right. Omni, you want the Omni Rig client, so download that. That you're gonna need that. And let's click, sorry about this, I've only just done it. Downloads, then you go, click downloads on that page and then go down to OmniRig and get OmniRig. So there's another, so you need three lots of files here. And then you need the INI files, which is all the basically different radios it controls. So you've got three files here. So what I would do is go to your desktop, right click, go new folder and call it OmniRig. Now we've already got that, so OmniRig2, we're gonna call it, okay? OmniRig2, now let's go back to those files and let's extract them all to that file. So we'll click them and click Extract. Ignore all that, this is, this is fun. You know, I don't really need this, but I, I think it's fun. So OmniRig2, click OK, it's gonna extract all of that there. Then we'll go to OmniRig Setup, Extract2, we'll put it all in the same file, which is OmniRig2, click OK. And then the, the last one was the little client thing. Uh, well, it might not be, it might be all the radios, but you know, those, you need all three files in that, all three programs, whatever, downloads in it. So, OmniRig 2, click, click OK. Right, so let's have a quick look at that. Let's make sure we've got them all in there. Double click, oh, wrong file. We should just delete that one, really, shouldn't we? Anyway, so they're all there. You've got the client, you've got everything there. Okay, they're all in that file, as you can see. So let's close that down. Next thing you do is open up OmniRig. Actually, let's have a look at our device manager. Device manager. So the radio at the moment is turned on. Now you need to make sure you've downloaded the latest driver for your, I'm on using the Icon 7300, before you connect any leads, before you do anything. When you've done that and the radio's on, you'll see this Silicon's Lab thing come up. Here, yeah, look, ignore the other two. Just look at the Silicon's Lab one. It will even be there, I'm pretty sure, when it's turned off. But anyway, um, power is going to the radio. So right click and then go to properties. And I've just set this one because that's what I need. Port settings, I've set it to 115200 and just copy the rest, although I didn't change them, okay? Just remember the 115200, so that's okay. So we know that and it, remember the COM number, it's COM10. So let's go back and start OmniRig, so we start, we've got OmniRig here. I know we're already running it, but let's go down. So there's our device manager, there's OmniRig, and now look, let's look at the client. So the, when you run the client, it looks like this. So double click client, and what you've got to do <coughs> is you've got to match up what's here. So in Rig 1, I haven't even looked at what Rig 2 does. I'm guessing you can control more than one radio. Just match these up. So we've looked in our device manager, you've got COM10, we've done board rate 115200, which works with my RSBA1 version 2 software, ICOM7300. And then I didn't really change these, although I did these bottom ones at 100 because that's what the video I watched did. When you've done that, 
and turn the radio on, what happens is it, it just comes to life. So here, see this where it says parameters changed and all this? That's ch being changed as we turn the frequency. Now, if it, see, uh, you can, I know it's small, but if you look here where it says frequency A, the frequency is changing. Yeah? So we, we have set it up correct. Now, it is important that in your OmniRig file that you've got the OmniRig, the files, let me just go back here. I know I'm sounding confused, but it's good info. It's important that when, let's go back to here. All right. Obviously, you hit download to get the actual main OmniRig program. But it's really important that you get the OmniRig client from here. That's really important. And then when you get the, go back to download. When you get the, I'm going to do another set of, another video when I'm actually trying to use this with some programs. Then go down to OmniRig here and these any files they have to be in the same file as your omni rig your main om omni rig file uh, otherwise it won't work so that's fine just copy and paste them um, into the same file as omni rig and it should all work so i'm quite pleased that it's all linking up now the next thing we're going to do is try and see if my rsba1 software can see it now i did have that running earlier before I end the video, I might just quickly just see what happens. RSBA1, that's the one I use. Firing up, and normally I'd have to select a different port. Now, I'm not even saying this is going to work, but we do connection set, and we're going to this time select. We've got COM, COM port 10, wasn't it? COM port 10, 115. It does say USB. Let's just click OK, and just see if it connects. Can I open, retry? So. This is where I'm, I'm going to learn now. If I right click here, device manager. Da -da -da. It is definitely 10. We're now going to teach myself how to link, you know, two, three programs running with things like RSBA1. I'm sure it's, um, we turn it off. Let's turn it off. Go to set mode. I'm just playing now. Da -da -da. Set USB. Com port got the same board rate. Yeah, you know, I mean it could be a matter of changing something like that, maybe. Remote utility. But at the moment it won't connect to OmniRig. But I'm sure I will learn why. So 73, thanks for watching. Setting up and getting OmniRig connected to your radio. ICOM 7300, all the best.